Uh, this is Peter Pan from Dark Cloud. Uh, today we will together uh, catch a dog and monster, the resource big eater. Uh, may I introduce my co-speaker? Um, in Chinese religion, his dragon's fifth son, his lamb is Tautie. He's very greedy. He will eat whatever he can see and he can touch. Well, so it's just like a container which uh, is too, many, too much resource and exhaust the whole system. How could it happen? In our mind, the wall between the container are well protected, well isolated, with the protection of the lamp space, C groups, uh, etc., those mechanisms. But actually, there is still cranning in the wall. So the port will share some specific resource on the same host, uh, with the containers on the same host and compete with each other. This is where the monster can break out. All right, now I take the fire descriptor as an example. Sometimes you can see error, too many open files in the system, maybe in the port of the web server or DB. So below it shows the story. The small white dots represent the file can be opened on the, on the system. It's defined by, the maximum of my value is defined by a kernel parameter, the FS max. All right, so a port, the yellow Pac-Man, the yellow port will open many files, and the open files reach the limit. So the other port, the green Pac-Man, has to cry because it see too many open files. Okay, what a pity. So besides the uh, FD, there are some other stuff uh, sharing among ports, like the PID, the FS notify, the CPU time slides, and for the network area, the connection track, the ARP table, and DNS request. So, ah, time is short. You can refer to my upload first slide deck for more detail and uh, for each of them, and uh, as well as the stress source code. All right, uh, now come back. How to fix it? Could we just increase the maximum value of the kernel parameter? Um, no, actually, it's a double each sword. So, here's uh, some tips, okay? For the maximum value on the host, just leave it alone, unless some operating system put it in a safe but very small value. And the second, uh, for each port, we can configure it, it's the uh, default value by the container D or Kubernetes configurations. Next one, uh, if you remember the 110 max port in the same node, in a node, so, if you take this into account, consideration, the purport value should be more conservative. Tips number four, um, if a port, they required large kernel parameters, he or she will take the responsibility to do it in, the, in its port, um, either by the init container or the, uh, do it in the YAML. If you forget all about, you still have the last gatekeeper, the next one, uh, Kubernetes can still do the system level reservation and um, the Kubernetes will do the eviction if it's under pressure. Okay. So uh, next I will introduce some interesting thing. Um, we all know about the bustable port, okay? But if they are all run on banks, it means that everyone hit the upper limit, what will happen? So it comes to memory, the performance will down even higher. So uh, we recommend to use VPA to uh, find a reasonable request value, or uh, for some old kernel, the OM killing will be slow, so you should make it happen faster before too late. For GPU, uh, vGPU can enable overcommit, but be careful, uh, when runs on banks, the GPU memory will be swept to a slower host memory. Okay, oh, a cute cat. The black cat is hogging over the whole space. It's just like an I.O. bandwidth contention. So for the disk, uh, when the disk bandwidth is running out, bad things will happen, right? Like a Kubernetes will be known ready. Thanks to Kubernetes 1.29, introduced the volume attributor class. So uh, you can name it the PVC, IOPS, and throughput. For network, 
Now, AI training, um, the, the network will be a burst to exchanging some gradients. And the neighborhood uh, workload, the latency will be impacted. So we can leverage the CNI traffic shaping to relieve it. All right, uh, DNS, if a port requests too many DNS requests, it will become a DDoS to the call DNS. It will be crash or OM. So the solution either to use the no local DNS as the no level caching or use the Istio sidecar as the port level caching. All right, summary. Here's some ways to tune the kernel parameters in different level port to do this control in his YAML using the security context. Second, do the host level system control by Kubus spray or Kubus bin during the provisioning, or you can choose the operator to do it. All right, to fight with the monster, they are protecting us. The color parameter define the system level total, and the C group provide container level isolation and limit for the those shared resource. Then we can leverage the underlying power and configure the limit from the upper layer. Last, don't forget to monitor an alert before too late. All right, thanks to all above, the monster has been sealed and becoming a good pet. <laughs> so um, welcome to my uh, four slides and the sample code for more detail. And this is the monster hunter from Dark Cloud. Thank you.